Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you again with the March uh, market report. Now again, this is for overall uh, Douglas and Sarpy County existing homes. We back out the new construction because it's just a completely different animal. Um, so in March, we were up 19% in sales. So we went from 505 in February to 602 in March. Again, pretty normal to see that, right? the spring market. Um, you know, February also had some crazy cold temperatures that kept numbers kind of down a little bit. Uh, but now that we have gotten into the spring market, what we typically see, again, we see people come out of the apartments and they're ready to buy. Um, average sale price was up 6.7% from 313 and some change to 334 and some change. And our days on market dropped a whole week from 21 days down to 14. So um, that's the overall Douglas and Sarpy County existing market, things are moving. Things are moving upwards uh, and they're moving pretty quick. So um, then I like to break it out into different segments. So the first uh, segment I like to look at is the first time home buyer market and that's zero to 350,000. February, we had 363. March, we had 418, up 15%. So still pretty consistent with the overall market. And the sale price was up about 3% from 233 to 241. Uh, days on market also dropped about a week, so from 18 to 11. So again, uh, the first time home buyer market definitely moving in Douglas and Sarpy County. Now the next uh, uh, category I like to look at is the move up is what I call it. 350 to 750. Okay, so we we're up 24% in units from February to March. We went from 131 to 163. That's 24%. So that's a big jump. And now we're I'm a little confused actually in this price point here, and I think I know why. 350 to 750 for existing houses actually dropped, went from 472 to 467. Okay, the reason being, I believe, is some of the houses that were sitting in that price point, you get some of the houses that are in the 4, 450, 500 range, if they're not updated, they will come down in price because your buyer right now, you're for the most part, your buyer will pay top dollar if the house is all tricked out. Um, if a house is not completely redone, if the kitchens, bathrooms need work, they're gonna sit a little bit. And then that's what starts to cause your prices to, to turn the other way. So um, again, yeah, that was down 1.2%. That was 350 to 750. Now the luxury market, that's 750 and above. Now we went from 11 deals in February to 21 in March. 91%. So basically we almost doubled. And we went from an average sale price of about a million 45,000 to a million 157,000. So up 10.7%. That's a big jump. And more units. So we've got more higher end units hitting the market and more of them selling. Um, days on market actually dropped also for that luxury unit. So overall, not really surprised with the exception of the move up where we saw that the prices dropped about 1%, but the spring market, that's what you would typically expect to see. You're gonna see more houses hit the market and you're gonna see more buyers buying those houses. I mean, I've been doing this for 24 years, pretty much it's rinse and repeat every year. So if you are a seller in this market and you're thinking about selling, do it now, because what will happen in the summertime, and this is a huge misnomer, in the summertime, it slows down. When we get to June, July, August, it gets slower because um, people are on vacations. You've got select baseball and soccer. It just takes up a lot of time. So if you have any thoughts of selling in the next couple of months, give me a call. I'd love to give you, you know, my opinion on your house, what needs to be done to it, what the pricing strategy would be. If it's going to be an off market deal or an on market deal, there's just a lot of different you know, ways to look at this because real estate is not one size fits all. So again, if you like what you see here with all the data that I'm providing, please remember to follow me on social media and I'd love to have you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.